Now, I am here at Whole Foods and I am ready to show you how to prepare a baked plum tomato tart using puff pastry. So let's go through the ingredients. We have grated semi-soft goat cheese and there are some variety of goat cheeses outside of the charret, including actual mozzarella. We have sea salt, cracked pepper, chives, ricotta, and our softened chivray goat cheese, plum tomatoes, and of course our puff pastry. So let's start putting it together. So we'll add the ricotta to the chivray. We'll add the chives. Just a little salt. You don't want it to be over seasoned. Just a little pepper. Just mix it until it's well combined because this will actually be the base to our puff pastry. This is so simple to put together. The most time is for it to bake in the oven, which is about 30 minutes. That's it. So we'll take our puff pastries that we've already placed in a tart pan with a sheet, rolled it out really thin, cut it into fours, and lined it into the tart pan. We'll take a great deal, almost a couple of tablespoons and spread it into the bottom of the pastry. And then just a few slices of the plum tomatoes. This is actually great for vegetarians and for the person who just loves pizzas. Just think of it like a mini pizza. Season your tomatoes with just a little salt. Don't overdo it. And just a drizzle of the olive oil. Just a light drizzle. And the final touch is the grated semi-soft goat cheese on top. This is great as a entree. And you can serve this with a salad or any grilled asparagus or some roasted green beans is perfect. Place these in an oven about 375 degrees and about 30 minutes, but the tail sign is when it's golden brown on the top and the crust is puffed up a bit and it's brown also, then your puff pastry tart will be ready. Okay, let's give a peek on them. This looks like it's ready. It is, this is perfect. It's beautiful. This is perfect, and this is a delicious baked plum tomato and goat cheese tart. That's great as an entree or by itself.